Hey, greetings and salutations from Lone Wolf Custom Painting. Uh, I've been hearing it. Where the hell have you been? Well, come on. You know, the inner child has to be taken care of in other aspects. The modeling, yes, I've continued on. But, uh, you know, Jake and I with softball and fishing and everything else like that, you know, he's going one way, I'm going the other. Well, we're here. Um, this is... Uh, something that I said that I would do and even though it's a little bit late you know <laughs> it's a one-man band or sometimes two-man band but we have to keep up with things so to Kevin Lutz this is your official public apology and if y'all are wondering what this is all about back when I did the resin ripoff piece I left my buddy out and that was not very fair <laughs> that was not very nice I got a fucking, I got a couple phone calls, you know, like, hey, well, man, what the hell are you doing? You, you left poor Kevin out in the cold here. So, uh, Kevin is the proud owner, and well, he should be, of Missing Link. Um, the product is second to none, as always. Um, it's, he's got a nice line himself. Uh, this particular is the 72 Cutlass Supreme, which I owned uh, this particular car, so that's why I purchased it. This, in conjunction with the parts that come with the kit, um, combined with the Revell kit makes one hell of a build up. Um, check him out. It's, uh, it's Missing Link. Uh, this, therefore, now, my boy, is your public apology. Alright, getting on to other things. Uh, two weeks ago, and I do not know who produces this particular kit. It's resin. Um, it's the Corvera pickup. And I'm quite sure that I will hear from somebody somewhere along the line once this video hits the airwaves that, uh, you know, who does it? Uh, I have not done anything with this thus far. Um, this belongs to a customer mine in Canada, uh, except for soak it for 24 plus hours in the Wesley's Bleach White, which is something you, you should do. It removes the, um, uh, any of the, the uh, after oils or whatever from the body. Uh, from what I can see thus far, um, very nicely done. Um, very little cleanup is going to be needed. Very little work. There's no pinholes. Um, the script work and everything is very pronounced, which helps tremendously. Uh, this particular one's going to be white with a blood red insert stripe on it. And uh, once again, you know, my boy from Canada is uh, sticking me in the soup, but. Uh, We'll see how this one uh, turns out. Uh, once we start working on it, there will be different uh, segments coming up. Uh, you know, where we're having different products come into the shop and whatnot. So I was pleased to see this show up in one way because I was curious about it. The other way is uh, I get enough projects, JP. Thank you very much, but that's okay, buddy. I love you. All right, on to other things. Um, Cheryl from Detail Masters. Uh, we uh, had a sit down that lasted a uh, day. How many? What? Did Jake, <laughs> should we tell this story? <laughs> uh, we did a little day drinking at the uh, NNL East with the New York crew and had ourselves one fine time. But uh, Cheryl gave us some of her new released parts. Uh, first off is the diamond tread plate. Uh, for all you guys that are into the trucks, um, this stuff looks pretty fabulous and we'll be using it somewhere down the road. Um, we've decided that we're going to do a project with uh, for the Patreon Learning Channel that we have with uh, building one of the race rigs. So this will come in handy. Uh, also, um, my girl is a Steelers fan, so she came up with vanity license plates. It says number one so I'm quite sure that there's a number two coming down the pike uh, Steelers, Cuda, Nas, I love New York eh. she had to sneak that one in there right Chevrolet, Hemi, Penn State, Jake, Penn State <laughs> Jake went to Penn State by the way anyways uh, Impala plate, West Virginia plate um, you know it's just something you know different to put on your car and for the realism uh, factor you really can't go wrong with this. Now, Detail Masters now has Hurst shifters. Uh, nine pieces. Jake, 
nine pieces. However, from what I can see, um, very well detailed. Um, it's got the uh, the floor paint. It's got the different uh, shifter lengths. They have Hearst uh, inscribed on them. It comes with the balls. Um, it also comes with the uh, the linkage. Uh, pretty impressive. Now we will be using this particular kit. Uh, we have three upcoming projects on the Patreon channel. The Mobius 65 Plymouth, which the shifters will be going, one of the shifters will be going in here. Um, we also have a street rod project and we are going to do a Foos uh, build of the uh, 49 Cadillac. Uh, now back to the detail. The last one, Detail Masters. This is super bug. This is to be used with the AMT uh, 1044 kit. Um, you couldn't ask for a better detailed um, photo etch kit. Um, the dashboard, the screens for the motor, um, the insert for the steering wheel, um, seat belts, uh, gas caps. Uh, you know, uh, floor insert floors uh, boards. Um, I mean, this lady when she puts out a product, it's second to none. Um, as you've seen here and there, when Jake's been flipping the camera around, I mean, we've got a whole bulletin board full of her product, and um, I love to use the stuff, and you can't beat it for the realism. Uh, somebody said, you know, eh, oh man, what's going on around here? Well, we got projects coming out of our ears. I've actually managed to um, catch up a little bit. As I said, um, we've got the Patreon uh, projects going on. Um, there's a 55 Dalray. Can't make up my mind whether it goes pro street or gasser. Um, we're going to do one of Eddie Flux uh, 41 uh, Willie's pickups. And... Uh, there's a bunch still sitting off to the side that are in paint. I have no idea what I'm going to do yet. So that's pretty much what's been going on around here. Um, there's going to be more. Um, and this is uh, July 24th. Um, softball season will not wind down until the beginning of October. Um, then Jake will be out chasing Daffy's nephews and nieces and trying to shoot them out of the sky. I don't know. It's, we'll have a couple months before we'll be able to get some more of this out here um, and um, be a little bit more proactive with the videos. And like I said, I do apologize, but hey, um, you know, modeling is a big part of my life, but it's not the only thing. Um, the grandkids, the puppies, and everything else have to come in too. So... Check out Detail Master stuff. Check out Missing Link. Um, the, in the Resin Ripoff uh, episode, there were four or five other resin companies that we mentioned. Um, check out their product. Um, and that's about all we got for today. So, in, I don't know, another week or so, there'll be another video popping up. Um, but... This is the old man signing off. Have a good week. God bless.
Um, one thing that was brought to my attention, and it's strange that um, this occurred within a, a day's time. Uh, a youngster that's just coming into the hobby. Um, just okay. end it. Just end it. All right. Just. Yep. That's it. Yep. No, I'll do an outro. Oh, okay.